My name is Aislinn. I'm from, I'm, I'm in grade nine, and I'm from Bellevue East High School. Hip hip. Hooray! My poem is called Mannequin. When I was younger, I would always sneak away from my mother and squeeze myself in between the wallpaper and the glass at the clothing shop, posing, pretending to be one of the mannequins on display. I liked the paper white mold and the smooth plastic sheen required to blend in, the spindly proportions, but when I stood there, it didn't matter. Everybody looked past the display, my display, and it made me feel as though I fit in just right, the perfect shape in the perfect spot, right where I belonged. It went from playing pretend to a desperate need of mine, blending in and being wanted, an empty hole in my body just like the hollow insides of the doll. Gaping and hungry, I feed into it when the mall has long since closed, the dark illuminated only by the flashlight of the security guards and the light of my phone on my face, both of us prowling, searching, hunting for an answer we aren't quite certain of, and in the dark I construct a new me, the blueprints made of a tear-stained Google search, new limbs with the same vacant insides, the freshness of the task making it easier easy to forget, forget how I want this, how I need this, how if I don't change out the parts of me that leave an ache, the ache will be left in everyone else, as a plastic tag left in a shirt that scratches at your skin, begging for attention in the only way it can, and if that's all it knows, then is it really at fault at all? I don't think I want to be a mannequin anymore, but if I don't play the part and put on a role on a stage I don't want to be on at all, then I am nothing. People will walk past me, not because I fit in, but because I stand out dressed in anger against my well-designed peers so, so drastically that they can't help but ignore me, turning their heads to avoid having to deal with something so catastrophically wrong. Because if I don't play my part by switching out my parts and compartmentalizing every word and every action, then I will just be me. And I don't know how people will treat just me. If, and if just me isn't enough for them, then I don't want to know. I'd rather live my life as a display. The glass that separates the me from the them from the me with the outdated parts and the scratched up limbs. A comforting barrier that I just can't bear to breach as I stand on my stand, my feet planted perfectly, the perfect size, just what they need, and I stand and I just pose. Woo!